Hey guys, S here. It's been a while, um, so I wanted to come on for a little bit and share with you some of the things I've learned since working as a phlebotomist for like the last three and a half, ooh, between like three and four months. I know that's my time frame, three and four months, maybe three and a half months. Um, I like to keep my video short and to the point, so I'm going to dive right in. Okay, the first thing is, don't be afraid to look other places. I remember when I first started, I went straight to the in arms, which, you know, seems normal, right? Because, you know, in school or um, when you're interning or when you're being trained, oh, that's, that's the place to go. And it, it's a fine place to go, but not everyone, all of your patients will not have a good vein in, this, in these areas. So don't be afraid to look other places. Okay, also... Don't be afraid to use a smaller needle. Now, I've learned personally for me, the straight needle is my best friend. I prefer the straight needle over the butterfly. And it's funny because when I first started, I used to be afraid of the straight needle. But for me, the straight needle seems more concise. You know what I mean? Especially when I feel the vein and I know it's there. And it's, it's faster. And a lot of times, you know, when I'm using... The butterfly, you know, it may it may start out good and then it stops. But with a straight noodle, it's just like, I know I'm going to get that blood. So don't be afraid to look other places and don't be afraid to change up your needle. You know, they have small veins because you can tell clearly tell they have small veins. Don't try and use what? Um, a 21 gauge. The smaller, the bigger. Yeah, a 21 gauge. You might need to use... The bigger the smaller 23 gauge you know what I mean so don't be afraid um talk to your patients I remember when I first started I would just hi how are you straight face you know just I'm here to do the job I'm about to get the job done I don't want to have no side conversations no <laughs> now I think back on it it's actually really funny loosen up a bit you know what i mean it's okay to engage with your patients hi how are you how was your day how was your weekend oh if your patient is talking to you about something don't be be afraid to ask questions now i will say to be careful because i have to remind myself that at times when a patient is talking to me i'm okay with multitasking but i shouldn't multitask so it's good to um Talk to your patient, but also pay attention to your work because there have there have been times where it even happened to me today where I'm talking to my patient and I'm so in tune with what my patient is saying that I'm not looking at the amount of tubes that I, that I need to draw. Like for instance, I needed to draw one SST and two lavenders today. And I drew, I'm sorry, two SSTs and two lavenders. And I only drew the SSTs. And I just so happened to look down and realize, oh snap, she left out. And I still need two more tubes. And then they're, you know, they're kind of like, oh, you weren't paying attention. And it's, you know, don't be afraid to interact with your patients, okay? How are you? How was your day? Especially those patients that the familiar faces. Hey, I remember last week you said this. Well, how did that go, you know? Yeah, okay. So the next thing I've learned is, personally for me, when I was getting into phlebotomy, um, I would always hear things like, oh, bigger patients or obese patients are harder patients. You don't have to be afraid of bigger patients, okay? Because they still have veins, okay? Yes, it they might be a little deeper. They might be a little more hidden, but it's definitely possible to find veins on a bigger patient. You know what I mean? Um, so don't let, don't let that scare you. Um, what else? Ask questions. Oh, this is a this is a is a big one for me. Um, I think ask questions and listen to your patients. So, um, I'm just gonna use me as an example. Today, I received a patient. He was he wasn't young. Well, he was young, but not like super young. He was 28. Yeah, he was my age, and he began telling me that um, when he was maybe a few years back. We get really nervous, really anxious, have a hard time breathing. And I think he even said maybe he passed out or something along those lines. 
and it was I was actually going to suggest well let's lay down instead of sitting sitting in a chair but he said but I'm gonna be okay so I was like well I'm not gonna worry about it listen to your patients if your patient has passed out in the past or they get really anxious and you know really anxious patients like you'll be able to tell don't be afraid to suggest hey there's a bed over here i'm gonna draw your blood while you're laying down so if you feel like you're, you're gonna faint or if you're not feeling good hey you're already laying down you won't have to worry about dropping to the floor so listen to your patients ask questions hey um i've had times where i'm at a drill patient and they come back in and their blood their arm is dripping with blood why because they're bleeding it's not that i didn't do a good job well it is i didn't do a good job at bandaging them up but i didn't know that i should take extra care in bandaging them up because i didn't know they were taking blood thinners so i guess depending on um what setting you work in i'm in a lab um it's key to hey are you taking any blood thinners um another question is children for me, I'm not afraid to ask for help when it comes to sticking children. Let's be honest. You know, sometimes you get those really great children, small kids who come in, like, you stick them and it's nothing. And most times you get those children who don't want to be stuck. So they're going to fight with you. And if they're fighting, don't be afraid to ask for help. Hey, can you hold this arm while I try and stick? You know, there are times where I actually can stick a child without help. And then most times I do need help. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, yeah, so that is all I can think about right now. If I think, if I do think of anything else, I will definitely be back on to share. So until next time, bye guys. See you later.